What's up guys, it's your boy Sean that says in today's video I just want to state my opinion on the state of Nintendo. And of course, you know, in the past couple months we had, well actually last week we had the Xbox reveal. And then about a couple months ago we had the PlayStation 4 reveal. Now, my whole take on Nintendo is, is basically Nintendo is slated and it's going in that, in that downfall like Sega did. As you can see, Sega's... Sega's only thing that they could do now is actually make is actually make games. They're not making systems anymore because of the fall of their systems. I mean, as you can see, the last hope for um, for Sega was a Dreamcast, which it was a it was a great system. I mean, I still own Dreamcast still to this day. It's actually in you know in my in my vault, you know, instead of over there in my entertainment system next to my Xbox. But um, as far as that goes, I mean, the Dreamcast was a great system. It's just that. Hackers got to it and was able to, it was able to get people to burn the games and hack the software and everything in the system. And you know, instead of, and people can download the games off the net, use their own creative burning software, burn the games, and you were good to go. So that made that that basically broke Sega, and and it just went off from there. Sega just like, look, we're not gonna make systems anymore. We're just gonna make games. That's why you continue to see all the. Sonic games and you know all the other games like that um, Push it to other systems like Xbox and PlayStation and also even the Wii because um, Going back to going back on to the Nintendo side as you see those Sega games I actually push more towards the Wii because um, In the Wii U it's just that Nintendo's on the fact of they want people to they want a system to be you know family oriented they want the system to be you know, something like if you have a big gathering, oh well, uh, let's pop up the let's pop up the Wii and let's all play these games. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but you got to think about it in a long term perspective. I mean, you got the Xbox, which is really which really killed the market over these years with their, of course, with their exclusives, um, and also, yeah, I think of this fact that Xbox also got DLCs. Um, for those people who don't know DLCs is downloadable content first like all the um, Not Gears of War, but uh, Call of Duty Franchise and they get those first so you got to think about it coming coming from Xbox over to Nintendo You're not gonna you're not gonna want to play uh, on a Nintendo Wii or Nintendo Wii U um, Call of Duty that's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I, I've known not one person who has a Nintendo Wii U or a Wii who's played Who's played Call of Duty on it? Oh, that's what. So that's what really. That's what's really hurting them. And then, then in the fact with the Nintendo, Nintendo Wii U. I mean, it looks like it's a good and can be a good solid system. But the thing about it is, I had this conversation with my brother um, a day or two ago. I don't. I don't even know five games that came out for it. The only games that I can. The only game that I can remember is the new Super Mario and. And zombie you that's it that's two games only two two games out of sorry about that um, Twitter Twitter going crazy but two games out of the lineup that came out then it was a pretty poor lineup of games well I wouldn't I wouldn't say not poor as in the game quality I'm far I'm talking about as far as the li actual lineup itself was a was was poor it wasn't enough games to be like okay well you know it's nintendo with you let me go get it i know there's a good selection out there um let me pick up let me pick up like maybe four or five six games for it that way that'll keep me you know that'll keep me that'll keep me abreast with it and keep me keep me satisfied until you know a next line of the games and like i said it's it released last holiday season and it's coming into the summertime and there's not, there still hasn't been any news about any more, any more updates to, to that lineup. I mean, well, let me take that back. It's sm there's small news on it as far as the new Super Mario Kart, the new Zelda, and everything's like that. But still, you're gonna need. What Nintendo should have did was Nintendo should have at least dropped. 10 games, 10 solid games, like, you, they should have dropped the Zelda and the Super Mario Kart 
along with Super Mario, Zombie, Zombie U, and a slew of other games. Um, to keep people going, I mean, the, tech, the, the technology for it is, I mean, it's still kind of outdated, you know, just a little bit. But as far as, as far as the fact that, you know, if somebody wants to watch TV, I can switch from sitting in front of the TV playing it to switch it to the handheld and I can play the game like that. That's pretty that's pretty nifty, but you gotta think about it, there's not a lot of games for the system itself. So Nintendo needs to my overall opinion, Nintendo needs to get out of that that um family oriented, that home that sit down at home type feel, like that gathering, that 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 family fun feel and actually get into and actually get back to the essence of what you need out of a video game, out of video game system. It's cool to go the different route, but you gotta think about it. When you're going the different route, you gotta make sure the different route works. I mean, you gotta think about it also, um, when I was browsing online and looking at different things about Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U after the, after the Xbox event, and just trying to see like where, cause I know Nintendo Direct is coming up soon, and so I wanted to see how people were feeling about, you know, well, I see the Xbox One, I see the PlayStation 4, where would Nintendo fit in the middle of those two, of those two giants, you know what I'm saying, so, um, actually it's not doing too good, it's not doing too good at all, I mean, you have, you have, the, the actual Wii is outselling the Nintendo Wii U, and for one, and I mean, as far as how they sell, you know, working it, working in retail, Around the time when Nintendo, the Nintendo Wii kicked out and kicked out in full force, I was working at Sam's Club, and we would get pallets and pallets and pallets of Nintendo Wiis, and they would fly out the door faster than they would fly out, than uh, Xbox 360 would fly out, and then the uh, PlayStation 3 would fly out. But of course, they stopped making stopped making titles for it, so then sales started to climb. So you got to think about it. And like I said, in my overall opinion, Nintendo is starting down that track of failing. I'm not going to say the Nintendo Wii, Wii U, I just, my bad, Nintendo Wii U, I'm not saying that it's a, it's a true failure. It actually could succeed, but the thing about it is they needed, they should have went about it differently at launch. Or even if they was only going to release that small amount, uh, small amount of games. You know, like I say, it's coming up on six to seven months of it being out, and there still is not another push out of titles that's coming out. I mean, maybe something with Nintendo Direct and E3 could whoop around the corner, and we'll hear some news about different things. But still, even if they say, oh, well, we're going to release these games around the holiday time. So that means you're going to, you, you have probably had like five, six games at launch. So that means people probably bought maybe two or three of those games and then set the Wii U down or bought all five and played them and beat them and then you have to wait a whole nother year for another for another maybe maybe just five games maybe three or four games to come out that's not good so sooner or later if Nintendo keeps going down this route they're gonna they're gonna end up with Sega um, they're gonna end up with this I call it the Sega syndrome where they're not gonna make systems, they're only gonna be able to they're only gonna make games, which will actually put, you know, you might see Super Mario or Mario Kart on on uh, the Xbox One, the Xbox three sixty, uh PlayStation three, PlayStation four, you know, different things like that, which would with I mean, which it'll keep them afloat, but you gotta think you just gotta think about it. It's just like it's just like um, you just gotta plan and execute things right, and Nintendo didn't do it right. So I've been going on for a minute. Just that, that's just my little rant, rant about about, about Nintendo. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I mean, do you think I'm I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm I'm just talking? I'm just I'm just ranting on. I'm just talking crazy out the side of my neck. You know, like I said, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.